an engaged tenant forms a forbidden relationship with his landlady, leading them to collaborate on a sinister plan during a mass in Madrid. Trini, the maid of a major, catches her fiancé, Paco, a military man on his final day of duty, and his father's son approaches him, inviting him to join Trini and herself at the bicycle spot. Suddenly, the major interrupts them, asking Paco to accompany his wife, Elira, to the station the next day. Paco agrees to this request. As they stroll together, the children bike around town and her fiancé discuss their plans for after marriage. She promises to continue working hard to save money for both of them, while he agrees to look for a job, aware that Paco has moved out of the barracks. He provides him with an address where he can rent a room while searching for employment. Subsequently, he heads to the location and meets Louisa, the beautiful and widowed landlady. The next evening, the unemployed man visits Trini at the major's house when she asks about the landlady. He admits he's unsure whether the woman has children. This information has raised suspicions in the maid, but her fiancé reassures her that he thought of her the night before as he embraced her. This major interruption by Paco leads him to refer her to his brother-in-law for a job opportunity. Soon after, Paco secures a job at a brick factory. However, witnessing his struggles with the tasks, the manager concludes that the work is unsuitable for him, leading to Paco's unemployment once again. Upon returning to the apartment, Paco realizes he has forgotten his keys, causing him to wait for Luisa to arrive before he can enter. That evening, the landlady invited her tenant for a drink, and, despite his engagement to Trini, she seduced him. This marked the beginning of their forbidden relationship. Meanwhile, the maid sought advice from Elvira, a week having passed since Paco had last spoken to her. In response, the major's wife simply advised her not to worry, confident that the woman's fiancé would return soon. A week later, Paco woke up to find Luisa absent, and upon her return, he immediately embraced her. But she rejects him, explaining that she has errands to attend to. She then instructs him to dress appropriately and accompany her later. After finishing her shift, the landlady closes her store to engage in shady business dealings. It's revealed that she is involved in fraudulent activities through illegal contracts. She then urges Paco to sign as a witness without disclosing the details of the documents, which he returns to his apartment that evening. Shortly after, Luisa hands over the tenant's share for his participation. They spend another romantic night together on Christmas Eve. Paco visits Trini after weeks of silence. The man informs her that he left the building site but found a new job at a bread factory. He suggests going out to eat, but his fiancé prefers to stay in, noting that the major's family will be on vacation, leaving the house all to themselves. During dinner, Trini expresses her excitement about their future together. After marriage, she encourages him to save more money so she can take care of him should he lose his job. She tells him she plans to open a shop where he can work, if needed. After dinner, Paco indulges in drinking and smoking whenever Trini is around. When he sees her, he can't resist asking her to come closer and invites her to spend a romantic evening on the major's bed. However, Trini, being a pure woman, rejects his advances, stating that she will only sleep with him after he returns to the apartment. Later, Paco discovers Luisa drinking alone. The landlady, feeling jealous, assumes that her tenant had a romantic moment with her fiancé. Paco clarifies that he never had a romantic relationship with Trini, leading Luisa to realize that this is why he craves physical intimacy. In response, he explains that his desire for physical intimacy only began after he met her. Upon hearing this, Luisa flattered him, which sparked his longing. She then instructed him to kiss her passionately the following day. Paco agreed and went on a date with Trini. Suddenly, they bumped into Luisa, which prompted Paco to introduce her to his fiancé. Later, when Paco invited Luisa to join them for a drink, the landlady declined. However, fueled by jealousy, she made a comment suggesting they were just friends. Before leaving, the engaged woman felt uneasy upon hearing this remark. Arriving at the restaurant, Trini feels uneasy and refuses to order anything, expressing her suspicions about the interaction between Paco and Luisa. She notices how the landlady looked at him and how he reacted with jealousy, becoming angry and demanding that he find another landlady. He follows her, concerned about her reaction when Paco returns to the apartment that night. Luisa also expresses her jealousy and insults the tenant for being romantically involved with a maid. However, upon hearing this, the man becomes upset and reminds the landlady that she already knew he had a fiancé. Luisa continues to be upset realizing that Paco hasn't slept with Trini yet, and she becomes furious at the thought of them eventually doing so, despite her frustration. Despite this, 
she still invites him to spend a romantic morning with her the next day. The major hears Trini crying in his wife's arms, and Alira comforts the maid who confides in her suspicion that her fiancé has been sleeping with her landlady. The major's wife offers comfort, acknowledging that men sometimes sleep with someone else. She then advises the engaged woman to win her fiancé back by enticing him. Following Elvira's advice, Trainee decides to take a taxi and instructs the driver to park in front of Louise's apartment. This is when she notices the landlady exiting the vehicle and heads towards the apartment to carry out her plan. Meanwhile, Tracy investigates Paco's room but is skeptical when he insists he made his bed shortly after she removed her undergarments to attract his fiancée. Despite this, Tracy remains convinced that Paco is not in love with Louisa, despite Tracy's belief that she can fulfill all of his desires. Meanwhile, Louisa meets with her business partners and discovers that she owes them money. When the woman admits she doesn't have the cash to pay, they insist she settles the debt, threatening to disfigure her face if she doesn't comply. After their special moment, Trini deliberately leaves the apartment and sits on the stairs to reapply her lipstick, ensuring that Louisa sees her upon her return home. Upon entering the apartment, the landlady discovers that Paco and Trini have spent a romantic moment on his bed. This deeply upsets her, and in a fit of frustration, she throws the fruit on the floor. Seeing Louis's reaction, Paco justifies his actions, saying he didn't cheat on her because he's engaged to Trini. Despite this, he invites her to bed. However, she refuses and closes the door on him shortly after. The tenant then takes a piece of paper and a pen and writes a letter to the landlady, informing her that he'll be gone for several days and has taken the money with him the following day. Paco accompanies Trini to the village to visit her mother. There, she introduces him to her mother as her husband. The couple, who had recently gotten married, delighted their mother by lying about the timing of their nuptials. She called all her relatives to celebrate the newlyweds that night. The evening was spent in a romantic setting, with the woman sharing a tender moment with her husband. In the midst of their intimacy, she casually mentioned that her father had a secret relationship with her mother's nurse, which ultimately led to his death from apoplexy in their bed. When the woman inquired about her husband's feelings towards her, he confirmed his love for her. However, noticing her dry tone, she grew concerned, suspecting that he might be unhappy. Trini, sensing her worry, admitted that she wasn't the best in bed, but promised to work on improving. Instead of discussing it further, he invites her to walk outside when the clock strikes midnight as the train tears apart. While eating, she realizes she can't make her fiancé happy by dancing the night away. The engaged woman expresses her frustration, feeling like she has given her all to him, only to find that he only seems to think of her as a burden. Paco, however, explains that while it's true he's uneasy and wants to return to Madrid, his feelings stem from wanting to leave Louis's apartment and finally find stable employment. He reveals that his odd behavior earlier, after getting fired from the bread factory, was because he was upset about losing his job. 